Cody and in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Skull Candy Hesh, the Skull Candy Aviators, and the Skull Candy Mix Master Mics. Okay, now let's have a look at the cases of the headphones. So starting with the Skull Candy Hesh, it has a nice thin kind of velvet material, and then it has the pull string, which you can open. And you can actually store quite a bit, like I've stored earbuds, my iPod, lots of stuff in there, and it all fits. And the other nice thing about this case, it's not really very protective, but it folds up and it's very versatile. You can put lots, like, different types of headphones in and all sorts. And then you get your headphones and your cable, quite simple. But I would give this case a 5 out of 10, because it doesn't provide much protection. Um, the knot comes undone on this sometimes, but it's actually quite good. Uh, if you if you um, don't consider protection and you don't mind retying that sometimes. So it gets a 5 out of 10. Okay, now on to the Aviator's case. It's a nice leather case actually and it has the A the um, Rock Nation logo here, Skull Candy logo. One nice thing is the zipper actually goes all the way down into the leather there and then on both sides so like that. It's kind of a tight fitting case. It gives some protection um, and I, I would say for this I give it a 7 out of 10. It gives quite a bit of protection and it's kind of uh, small as well. Folds up pretty small and then you have your headphones and you also in this case have the compartment for the cable and the cleaning cloth. So they come with a just a cleaning cloth with a little Skull Candy logo there so you can polish the sides. The Hesh don't really need that because they don't have anything shiny on them though. So Okay now on to the um, Mixmaster Mics case. So it has a it's kind of a hard plastic here kind of nice feel and then it has soft material around here has like a cotton zipper and it opens up it's quite big but the headphones are big so then inside you have your headphones nicely protected this one does have a lot of protection as well and then here you have the um, two cables the uh, talk or the control talk cable and then you also have the DJ cable, which um, it has the um, this on this end, it actually screws into the headphone, this cable, so it won't come out. And then on the other end, it has a screw on like the quarter inch adapter, which is nice. And then it's about four foot like this. And I think it extends all the way to eight foot with this. So that's really nice. It's quite thick as well. And I almost forgot the rating that I would give this is will be a 7 out of 10. It's very protective and it's quite nice. And these do also come with a cleaning cloth. I think it's in here somewhere. Here we go. Forgot to say that. But I give it a 7 out of 10. Nice protection. But um, it's kind of bulky as well. It doesn't fold down or anything. So that's my rating. Okay, now let's talk about build quality. And starting with the Hesh again, uh, the build quality on this, it's okay. You know, they have the nice kind of up and down adjusting, and it, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. They swivel a little bit like that, but I would have liked to seen more. And same this way, that's fine. But they're very plasticky, and I've heard like there's been lots of people have them break like kind of right here because as you can see that's not held on by much and the build it's okay but I'd probably give it on this scale a 3 out of 10 maybe a 3 or a 4 um, so now let's move on to the aviators okay so build quality on the aviators they're actually built pretty good that I would probably give them a 8 out of 10 for build for durability though I'd have to say maybe a 9 because you can give these like a pretty good, you know, you can shake them around, bend them, and they're not going to break because they're made out of 
flexible metal. And what the flexible metal does, it's not going to snap. So they can make it a, a very thin design, but just use flex as kind of the way so it doesn't break. So they're quite durable and they fold nicely and everything, but for build, I'd probably give it an 8 and a 9 for durability. Okay, so on the Aviator, or um, on the Mixmaster mics, they're, um, they have really nice kind of construction. They, they've thought it through well. It's still very durable, even though it has this rotating bit. Still very solid. And that basically puts it into mono sound for this ear. So you get all your music in one ear when you do that. Um, and then you have your, your button here. Um, quite nice for muting it. And then down here you have your two jacks. So you have one for the, doesn't matter which side. So like for me, I prefer my headphone to go on the left side. But if you like it on the right side, you can put it there. And the other one basically daisy chains the audio. And then you have the adjustment. Really solid. It has a little logo under there. And then I would say for build quality, I give it a 9. But for durability, probably only an 8. Because they are, they do have plastic. You know, they could break. They're not like the aviators where they're kind of, metal. I mean, sure, they have a metal band, but I feel like they could break a little easier, though, because they're not quite as flexible, but they're good. Okay, so now let's talk about sound quality. Probably the most important thing uh, when you get your headphones, because that's what you're buying them for, right? Listen to sound. So, these have 50 millimeter drivers. They sound really good. I actually like them because for this price point, they're probably some of the best sounding headphones out there. I feel that Skull Candy with these kind of went out to make good sounding headphones, like kind of above the, the other headphones at that price point, and just kind of lack on the maybe the comfort and the build quality. But that's kind of the reason I like these. And for sound quality, I'd probably on this on the scale, I'd give it a maybe a six or a seven out of ten. But for the price, you know, they're a 9 out of 10 for the price. Because for this price, it's hard to find a headphone that sounds as good as these. But now let's move on to the aviators. Okay, so the sound quality on the aviators um, is very good. They have 40 millimeter drivers. They, um, so that's actually smaller than the Hesh. So they're not going to be quite as loud. But they do sound better. Like the drivers are tuned better slightly better for sound so I would give these an 8 out of 10 for sound and the sound quality is really good on these they're kind of a mid-range headphone on the three that we're comparing so now let's move on to the Mixmaster mic okay so sound quality on these these have 50 millimeter drivers they are very good considering these are $300 headphones they do sound very good I feel like the mids and the highs and the bass are all brought out like with a lot of headphones, they'll either kind of be good in the mids and some will be good in the highs and then some might be good at bass. But these really kind of shine over all of them. They're very, like, they're very even, the kind of the equalizer. So they, they do all sound good and they have very good basses and mids and highs. And they, I would give them for sound quality a 10 out of 10 just because for that price, they're... I mean, you can get some probably better, but I'd say they're really good for that. And now let's move on to my final opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to give my final opinion of these three headphones. So if you, they're all kind of high quality sounding headphones, I would say. They're based for music listening, and these are kind of DJ headphones as well. So if you are someone who wants a good pair of headphones, doesn't want like kind of really good sound, doesn't want to spend much, get the Hesh. I would recommend them. Um, if you don't want to listen to music for over maybe 30 minutes because they do kind of hurt your ears because they grip really tight after about 30 minutes of listening, but up until then, really good. Then these are kind of a mid-range headphone. They're good at everything. So if you don't want the best sound on the market, kind of in the consumer headphones, these will be good, but they're going to be better sound than these. Good comfort, good overall, kind of for a mid-priced headphones at $130. And if I didn't mention the price already, these are $50. And then for a whopping $300, 
the Skull Candy um, Mix Master Mics. They are good for DJ because they have the mono sound thing. They have the um, play pause, or it's actually um, not play pause, it's mute. And then they're very comfortable, and they are, I really like them for if you want to spend a lot, these kind of on headphones, and you want them to sound really good, these for music listening or DJing, these will be the way to go. So that's it for now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this or more of me in the future, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you all in the next video.